Welcome back to a new episode of Spanish Vibes in Motion. Today we're going to recap the use of the regular verbs in the present tense. In our previous episodes, we have seen some cases of irregular verbs in which the E is replaced by IE or when the O is replaced by UE or when we add an additional Z or an additional G. Now we are going to concentrate on the last remaining cases in order to have a full picture of how verbs are conjugated in the present tense. Now let's see the case in which an E is being replaced by an I. For example, like in the verb pedir. The verb pedir is the verb in the category in which the E is being replaced by the I. In this case, particularly, pedir means to ask for, and the E is being replaced by the I in the root. That means that for the personal pronouns yo, tú, ellos, ustedes, él, ella, usted, the root changes. Whereas in the case of the personal pronouns vos, nosotros, vosotros, the roots remain unchanged. So the conjugation for pedir, repetir and seguir is as follows. Yo pido, tú pides, vos pedís, él, ella, usted pide, nosotros pedimos, vosotros pedís, ellos, ustedes piden. For repetir is yo repito, tú repites, vos repetís, él, ella, usted repite, nosotros repetimos, vosotros repetís, ellos, ustedes repiten. And for the verb seguir, The conjugation is yo sigo, tú sigues, vos seguís, él, ella, usted sigue, nosotros seguimos, vosotros seguís, ellos, ustedes siguen. And this is the list of irregular verbs that follow the same patterns as pedir. Now let's see an example of a conjugation for the verb elegir which is a case of the E being replaced by an I. Enciendo la cafetera, elijo la cápsula de café y la meto en la cafetera. Another case is when we replace the U by the diphthong UE. Now let's see the case of a verb in which the U is being replaced by the diphthong UE. For example, the verb jugar. And the conjugation is as follows. Yo juego, tú juegas, vos jugás, él, ella, usted juega, nosotros jugamos, vosotros jugáis, ellos, ustedes juegan. We also have another case in which verb are conjugated or the root is being replaced by a Y in those verbs that are ending in U, I, R. The verb construed is a verb ending in U, I, R. And as a result, when these type of verbs are conjugated, the root is changed by adding a Y. This change occurs specifically in the personal pronouns yo, tú, ellos, ustedes, él, ella, usted. In those cases, the root changes, whereas with vos, nosotros, and vosotros, the root remains unchanged. So the conjugation for this type of verb, construir and incluir, for example, are conjugated as follows. Yo construyo, tú construyes, vos construís, él, ella, usted construye, nosotros construimos, vosotros construís, ellos, ustedes construyen. 
Whereas with the verb incluir, the conjugation is yo incluyo, tú incluyes, vos incluís, él ella usted incluye, nosotros incluimos, vosotros incluís, ellos ustedes incluyen. And the following list includes verbs that are conjugated in the same way by adding a Y in the root. Por ejemplo, aquí construyen un edificio de departamentos. We have another case in which we are combining the additional G in the first person and then with a combination of the replacement of the E by the IE. For example, like in the verb tener and in the verb venir. Finally, we have the conjugation of the verbs querer, tener, saber and venir in the first cases in which it's a combination of the replacement of the E replaced by the I, Gibson IE or uh, the additional G. So, querer is conjugated as yo quiero, tú quieres, vos querés, él, ella, usted quiere, nosotros queremos, vosotros queréis, ellos, ustedes quieren, yo tengo, tú tienes, vos tenés, él, ella, usted tiene, nosotros tenemos, vosotros tenéis, ellos tienen. Anda a ver saber, yo sé, tú sabes, vos sabés, él, ella, usted sabe, nosotros sabemos, vosotros sabéis, ellos, ustedes saben. Anda a ver venir, similar to the verb tener, is conjugated as yo vengo, tú vienes, vos venís. Él, ella, usted viene, nosotros venimos, vosotros venís, ellos, ustedes vienen. Finally, we have the verbs ser, estar, ir, andar, that are conjugated very similarly. For example, the verb estar, yo estoy, tú estás, vos estás, él, ella, usted está, nosotros estamos, vosotros estáis, ellos, ustedes están. The verb ser, yo soy, Tú eres, vos sos, él, ella, usted es, nosotros somos, vosotros sois, us, ellos, ustedes son. De verb ir, yo voy, tú vas, vos vas, él, ella, usted va, nosotros vamos, vosotros vais, ellos, ustedes van. And finally, the verb dar is conjugated as yo doy, tú das, vos das. Él, ella, usted da, nosotros damos, vosotros dais, ellos, ustedes dan. Thanks for joining us in our today's episode of Spanish Facts in Motion. We hope you have enjoyed this episode and that you have learned something new about the irregular verbs in the present tense. We hope to see you next time. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye bye.